and welcome to Janji's Kitchen. I am Janji and today I am going to show you how to put, assemble and prepare cauliflower polonaise. So, see you in a second. Cauliflower polonaise is one of the most French recipe you can have out there. Uh, also is one of my most sought after and prepared recipe on my blog. So it was only coming to order that I was actually doing a quick video uh, to show you how simple that means. So I want to show you today how easy it is to cal make cauliflower polonaise. Now, even though it has a Polish name, which means uh, polonaise means to the pol Polish way, it is actually a very French dish. And polonaise or the Polish style, what it means is buttered breadcrumbs with hard boiled egg. That's what it is, is the garnish, the ending part of this dish, which is the, the style of Polonaise Polish style. So what do we need today here is a whole head of cauliflower, which I have cut already earlier. And if you wanted to know how to cut it, I have a small tutorial. We'll have a link underneath this video on how quickly it is to cut a cauliflower. We also going to be needing some unsalted butter, which I have melted. We are going to be needing some fresh breadcrumbs, salt and pepper, backwards, garlic, two hard boiled egg, some olive oil, and some parley, parsley for garnish. So the first and this is it. This is all the ingredient that you need. Of course, salt and pepper, we have it. We all have pretty much all the ingredients at home. So it is an extremely economical dish to prepare. So my oven is already on at 425 and what I am going to do now, I am going to parboil for probably around 10 minutes or so my cauliflower to make it softer and to eliminate all smell in the house, I am going to put some lemon. That's why the lemon is here. So see you on my stove. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze my lemon in and I'm going to put it in. So that will absorb all the smell of the cauliflower just gently pour them in there you go my water was nicely boiling and it doesn't ha matter how much moment then they're covered that's all that matters there you go put them in great see you in 10 minutes alrighty so our cauliflowers have cooked they're nice and tender but all united as you can see right here so now what we're going to have to do with it we are going to add one tablespoon of the melted butter so I did the melted earlier I'm going to stir it a little bit and I'm just going to put half of it in it because we're going to have to save the half for the crumbs so there you go half of that and then we are going to put half of the breadcrumbs in it it's a three tablespoon, so just half. Voila. Okay. Uh, the egg, the eggs. Okay. The capers. I love capers. The garlic. The olive oil. And of course, all the ingredients and all the measurements are on my website, and the link will be underneath it as well as some salt and pepper. I know it sounds like a lot of salt, but it is not. Okay, the pepper, perfect. And I am going to stir all this together. Alrighty. It's a beautiful, I wish there was a app where you could actually smell this. The capers with the eat they are intensified the flavors mixed with the eggs is just beautiful 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 okay so I'm gonna get rid of all this right now and what I'm going to do I am going to add the butter to this little breadcrumbs here to make the topping I'm gonna mix it quickly in here Okay, I hope you can see this. I'm just making the breadcrumbs to put on top of it. I'm going to set this aside for a second. 
I am going to take my gratin dish. I have my one of my favorite gratin dish. I always use cast enamel because it makes it easier for each induction to it. I am going to transfer all this to it. As you can see. Voila. Okay, put it down. Perfect. All right. And then the breadcrumbs over it. All right, I'm going to have to do this with my hands and just sprinkle them over. This is it. Perfect. This dish will go in the in the oven for about 10 minutes and see you then. There you go. Doesn't that look beautiful? All righty. So here is cauliflower polonaise. Very simple, very easy to make. Um, I could roast it a little bit longer if I wanted to. But as you can see, it's a 30, 30 minutes dinner. Extremely economical and is a perfect side dish for a family of four. Great for party. Great um, thanks. Oh, I get what I'm talking about. Easter. Um, Easter dinner, but it, good at any time of during the week. So you take a little bit of your parsley too, just kind of put it over, and voila, a perfect dish all done for you. I am going to actually get a bite off of it because I love this dish. It's one of my favorite, favorite dishes, and it's very, very hot, as you can tell. Mm. Wonderful. Ow. So there you go, guys. Cauliflower polonaise, the recipe will be underneath this video. If you like it, click like, share, subscribe, and comment. And um, please share with your friend. So thank you so very much for being here today. See you next time. Bye.